I've got a bunch of religious zealot stories to tell you about. We'll go through these uh, pretty quickly. Brian Fisher, our friend over at the American Family Association, and of course, what's the name of the radio program? Family something radio, Family Values Radio. Who knows? I Who don't cares? even know what the show is at this point. He made clear that if gays aren't discriminated against, Christians will be discriminated against. And I know we're just looking at this because of the nuttery that it represents, but I think it's actually important for, for people to think about how a lot of these Christian conservatives view these social issues as a zero-sum sum game. If someone else gets some kind of basic right, they believe, by definition, someone else has to lose, right? They have this zero-sum attitude, and it's incredibly destructive. Uh, let's take a listen to some of this. Every advance of the homosexual agenda comes at the expense of religious liberty. The single greatest threat to religious liberty in America today is the homosexual agenda. Right. We cannot have religious liberty. In fact, I would go so far as to say we cannot have gay marriage in the First Amendment. We can't have homosexuality in the First Amendment. If homosexuality is embraced and normalized, that's the end of the First Amendment. It's gone. It's out of here, shredded beyond recognition, a worthless piece of paper. Now, I believe we should be free in America to discriminate against homosexual behavior. Because if we don't, then it will be people of faith who will be discriminated against. It is right. It's, it's zero sum. Either we discriminate against gays or Christians will be discriminated against themselves. Now, he talks about the First Amendment says you can't have gay marriage. Lewis, read the First Amendment to us. Congress shall make no law respecting, respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or of the right of the people to peaceably assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, go out on a limb. There's really nothing in there about gay marriage, but what I'm guessing Brian Fisher would argue by mentioning the First Amendment is saying that if you don't allow discrimination against gay people, you are not allowing the free expression of religion because, according to Brian Fisher, the free expression of his religion would involve discriminating against gay people. Is that, Natan, is that the, the line that you would, that he would make? Maybe, but that's totally, it doesn't make any sense. No, because, of course not. Because it's not, uh, the First Amendment has nothing to do with what a religion says is acceptable or not. For example, if we have a law that legalizes gay marriage, it has nothing to do with whether a religion allows gay marriages to occur, and it right. has nothing to do with the free expression of that religion. Yeah. Brian Fisher is one of those idiots who thinks that the uh, that this is an extension of the Bible for some reason. That the Constitution is an extension right. of the Bible. Right. Okay, so there's Brian Fisher. You either discriminate against gay people or Christians, poor Christians, will be di uh, discriminated against. Well, the thing is, I think it's, a, it's, it's better to discriminate against Christians than it is to discriminate against homosexuals because you can choose to be Christian, but you can't choose to be homosexual. Very good, Lewis. Lewis on fire today. Zing. Oh, uh, yep. Good for me. Pat on the back. There you go.